They aren't prisoners inside state prison. Today is exposure to chemical agents. But they need to prove ready for the challenge. Challenging sometimes because people don't listen. As five cadets train to join inmates at the Yuma State Prison. From the ready, two rounds, two seconds. My cadets will graduate this Friday and they will be in the field come Monday doing their job. Five cadets in a class of 42 are trying to prove they're fit enough to start a new career working at the Yuma State Prison. The best job I ever had in the department was being a class sergeant and seeing that, that day one cadet that, that comes in and, and you know that they've never held a job in their life. It's a test of knowing psychological welfare as well as being physically fit. At the end of the seven weeks, you're looking at a completely different person. With your partners, people. And with only seven weeks to acquire right. the skill set at CODA or the Corrections Officer Training Academy in Tucson. I never graduated from college, so this is my first graduation from a family that's gonna get a, you know, a good job. You need to blow out the arms. Physical fitness is just one okay. of many challenges class 1042 will see Stay before they can start a new career. Sit up. Challenging sometimes because people don't listen, so they just make this work more. Often used by law enforcement and military, Rest. Bardo says the Arizona Department of Corrections the uses form. the Cooper Fitness Standard. Spend uh, almost all of week four in the gym, throwing each other down on the mat, learning pressure points, uh, proper tactical cuffing techniques um, and how to defend themselves and others uh, utilizing physical force. By the mid session they're already learning self-defense right, and how to handle a lethal weapon. You gotta learn a lot of discipline in here and um, you can come try out and you know you, can, you learn a lot of stuff. Even Ready? how to deal with pepper spray. To allow the cadets to understand exactly what it feels like when they're spraying an inmate so that they can fight through it. Freaking out. <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared. And while these skill sets might be a good life lesson, by the end of training, they know use of force is the road most rarely taken. Just come out and tell them, do this. You have to also, you know, they're humans. Treat them with respect. Talk to them like they're humans. And stuff. Um, interacting with them. It's like talking to them like you know, they're real human beings. Because they're also reminded that someday most inmates will go home. Most offenders are going to get released and they're going to come back into um, society, into our neighborhoods and move in next door to you and I and uh, hopefully they're uh, better off for their visit with us than when they came in. But with so many objectives, Commander Ivan Bardos knows not everyone will succeed at this task. He says he's never seen a full class graduate. Very few of our people are absolutely certain they want to stay here as a career. And while getting physically fit is one half of the training learning curve, the reality is these Yuma cadets face much more as new corrections officers. Important is the handoff. When we graduate a cadet, when these five Yuma cadets graduate, become officers, they have to have a field training officer at Yuma that will help them bridge the gap between what they learn in the academy and what goes on at the different units that they might be assigned to.